What's up, boys? So today, I want to make a video and talk to you all about some shit I've been reading, some shit I've been thinking about, and just in general, share my thoughts, set expectations, and just have a little bit of a conversation. Now, I did say I was going to play Final Fantasy this Saturday. That's still going to happen. There's been a lot of people talking about that. Probably too fucking many. But to be honest, it's been, uh, it's been nice to see people excited about the stream, obviously. But it's a little bit overwhelming at the same time. So, I wanted to set a little bit of expectations kind of about like that stream. And then also about talking, kind of just talking about other MMOs, playing other MMOs, other games, etc. And kind of where I'm coming from, what my mindset is, and what I want to do. So, for a lot of you guys, I think you've been watching me for a long time, probably, especially if you're watching me on this channel, right? And you probably know I've been playing WoW for 15 years, and there's a lot of people, I think, that have been burned by WoW, uh, multiple times, probably. And they, the last thing that they want to see, the last thing they want to hear about, the last thing they want to do is World of Warcraft. And to be honest with you guys, uh, I don't blame you. I think that there's been a lot of dumb things that have happened, but at the same time, uh, it, I still feel like it's an enjoyable game for me. I still play it uh, pretty much every day. And by pretty much every day, I mean literally every single day. And I've taken breaks before. I've uh, you know moved over, played Dark Souls, played Path of Exile, taken breaks over a month at a time. But I always just come back to WoW. And I told people like with Retail WoW, uh, it's like playing other games, coming back to Retail WoW. It's kind of like going to a strip club. And then at the end of the day, you come back home to your fat wife that you still love. And that's basically how I feel about Retail WoW. And I don't know if that's ever really going to change. I don't know if we're ever really going to get a divorce. But I have really enjoyed playing the game for all these years. And obviously there's been ebbs and flows of, around that. But I did want to say that it's always just been enjoyable for me. And so it's kind of sad for me to see that there are so many people who are so adamantly and emotionally and viscerally against uh, me playing WoW and me making WoW content. But I can understand why because obviously there's just been so many stupid things that have happened. And I did also want to talk a little bit about setting expectations for uh, for the future, because this is really what matters. Talking about before gives a fuck. The future is what really matters. And in the future, uh, I do continue to uh, I do plan on continuing to play WoW. Uh, just I'm going to say that. Now, is that always going to be my main game? I'm not a person that writes blank checks. Okay, uh, I don't like to commit to anything, as you guys probably know. So I'm not going to commit to anything. However, what I will say is that probably will be the case. I, I've always loved WoW. I'll always probably play WoW, well, and I'll, I'll probably always like doing that. However, there are other games that I am really, really looking forward to. I know it might sound weird, and some people might not believe it, but I genuinely do look forward to playing Final Fantasy. Now, I know there have been so many people. I've had close friends of mine, uh, friends that are outside of like the Twitch sphere, who have even asked me or talked to me about playing the game, and I was like, ah, you know, maybe I should try this game out just kind of on my own. Now, there's a number of things that kind of are off-putting to me about it. I think that some of the uh, the social structures in the game are a little bit off-putting. Uh, some of the ways that people are very pushy and evangelize their game is a little bit off-putting as well. However, I do really just want to play a good game. And I'm willing to forego many, many bad things, as you guys can see by Retail WoW behind me. I'm willing to forego many, many bad things for me just to have that slight removal from reality that slight moment where i can take a step back and play a game and not have to think about the fact that there's 50 other things that this game is distracting me from doing and that feeling is what really matters for mmos for games for me right and to me if i can play that and get that out of final fantasy that's awesome i, I do also want to say that my interest in games is not necessarily uh, fixed to MMOs. It's not just MMOs at all. It's the uh, entire spectrum. There's a few types of games. I don't really like sports games and maybe a few other types of games I'm not really a big fan of. But as a general rule, I, I play FPS games all the time. I've loved RTS games. I had all the old Command & Conquer, all the old Warcraft games. That's how I got into WoW. And um, even like RPG games as well. And so uh, for me, whenever I hear that people are stopping playing WoW or I think about not playing WoW, uh, the alternatives for me, or just taking a break from the game, I guess, and the alternatives for me are not just uh, Final Fantasy, Elder Scrolls Online, RuneScape, or uh, like, I don't know, Terra or Black Desert Online, like one of the other 
uh, other games, right? And of course, now soon it's going to be New World and Ashes of Creation. Uh, I, I don't really just limit myself to purely MMORPGs. I like to play a lot of other games, and that's kind of what I want to share with people in the future. And I want to try to play those other games and, you know, make good content for those games too. I think that really where I shine as a creator, this is just my opinion, right? But where I shine as a creator is whenever I can use my community to make cool events and I can do things with my viewers. I think that's one thing that is special about the internet. One thing that's special about these online spaces is the fact that you can get everybody together and you could do something cool like that and for me i think that's just the most badass thing about uh streaming it's the most badass thing about uh doing videos or anything right it's like i remember whenever i would see swifty you know he'd go to a server and this is like back in you know wrath of the lich king or something and he'd go to a server and there'd be like dozens of people around them or it was in cataclysm there's like hundreds of people around them and i was like oh man that's so badass and just having that online space that you just exist in, you got all the boys chilling on their mounts and everything. Oh, it's so awesome. So games that have shared spaces like that, that you can have people playing together, that's where I really have a lot of fun. That's where I really enjoy myself, and that's where I really think I make some of the best content. So, of course, those are going to be the games that I kind of trend towards. Uh, today, I looked at Lost Ark, and uh, I'm excited for that, too. Honestly, it's uh, it's really nice for me to say this, because you know, for the longest time, MMOs have been, uh, let's be honest, fucking dead. And now we've got so many other games coming out. We have actual competitors to WoW, like Final Fantasy. Uh, even Elder Scrolls Online is doing quite well for what I know. And it's just really nice to see those alternatives popping up because I think competition breeds excellence. And hopefully every other game and WoW included will rise to the occasion. So I did wanted to make this video and talk kind of about where I see things going. Now, I do think that I'll always probably be like a WoW streamer, of course. But there are a lot of these games like uh, Final Fantasy and like these other games that uh, I do want to try out. And I do really want to emphasize that phrase, try out. It doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to play them all the time or the moment that I play Final Fantasy, I'm going to be addicted and I'm going to love the story. Because I'll be honest with you, I've never gotten into a Final Fantasy game in my life. And also, the only... Oh, I, all right, so remember that, that movie that they did? It was like 2006, 2007, like the Final Fantasy Advent Children. I remember I got that, and I thought it was fucking awesome. So that is one exception. However, uh, that is one exception in a sea of the rule. And I think that a lot of this came down to... I told this story before. I had a Final Fantasy like 3 or 4 with the original Game Boy, like the big brick. And I could never figure out a fucking thing with that game. And it just always annoyed me. And I think that just for the rest of my life, I have just kind of had that lingering resentment towards Final Fantasy. So we'll have to see if that changes for the uh, the MMO. But I'm going to try to go into it with an open mind. I do want to just enjoy the game. Doesn't mean that I'm writing a blank check to play it forever. I could maybe play it for like a day or two. But my goals with the game really are this. I want to get through the whole quest line of the story. And I know, yeah, it'll probably take me about 100 hours, realistically. And um, good thing I don't fucking do anything. So I'll be able to do it, guys. Trust me. I'll be able to make time. And uh, also, I want to do some of the raids. Maybe do one of the Savage raids. I think that's the, uh, the heroic difficulty equivalent. I think ultimate is mythic difficulty, at least compared to WoW. So um, just trying those kinds of things out. And just really giving the game a... Uh, giving it the good old college try. Which actually, for me, if you're giving it the good old college try is... Not really trying at all. However, I do want to say that I do plan to get to max level. I want to get all the quest lines done. I want to get everything like that done. And I don't plan on buying a boost or doing anything like that. And the reason for that is because if I if I do that, I feel like just, just you know, no bullshit. Nobody, any time that I say anything bad about the game, I make any critique about the game, people will be like, oh, well, he boosted, so his opinion doesn't matter. So it's like, I feel like I cannot boost. I cannot boost in Final Fantasy because of that so i i'm probably not going to do that well i'm not probably i'm not going to do a period and i haven't picked the server or anything like that i've kind of just left all that stuff up in the air and again i just want to go into the game with an open mind and a uh you know i, I hope that people that watch have the same opinion i just want to be able to play a game and enjoy it and i think that a lot of people have really kind of elevated this to something that really doesn't need to be but um I just want to have fun, I want to play the game, I want to enjoy myself, and I want to have more stuff to do with my viewers and more stuff to do with myself. 
And that's really all it comes down to. I'm really looking forward to we've got New World, we've got the new Raid and WoW, we got all the new stuff coming out there. You got Ashes of Creation. I mean, man, this is gonna be I don't even know if I'm gonna leave my house for the rest of the year, dude. And I'm excited for it. So listen. Uh, I just wanted to make this video, talk a little bit about this, kind of share my thoughts, give my opinions about this, and just level with you guys about where I'm at. Because I know that a lot of people have talked about this, and I figured I would just kind of make a video and uh, just kind of let you know. So, anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all probably, yeah, it's pretty late, probably see you in the morning whenever I do my stream. Peace.